Hello YouTube, this is J Comp Help J, and I know I've made a video in so long, but that's just because this channel's been inactive for a while. I've had other channels, and you know, you know how stuff goes. But uh, this tutorial is to show you how to change the About This Mac info on OSX Lion. I know it's a bit different compared to doing it on Snow Leopard. That's why I'm doing this video because I haven't found a video on Lion, and I just really converted Snow Leopard's way of doing it to Lion. So as you can see here, it says I have 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM, which is a lie. I don't really have 5.7 gigahertz 12 core i7 processor. And even the more info, the more info tab is, ch I even changed that too. It, they're, they're separate. You have to change them each separate. But for this to work, you're going to need, you're not going to be able to use it with just text, uh, text edit. You're going to need, you're going to need, well, let's find it here. Um, text wrangler. You're going to need to download text wrangler. I'll have that link in the description. And once you download that, you just go to Finder, then you go to your Macintosh HD, which on Lion, it's by default, it's hidden. So what you do to get, to get this, you have to go to Preferences, then check off your device, which it should be your iMac or Mac or whatever, Macintosh HD under here, it should be somewhere under here. Just check that off, it'll appear down here under Devices. Then go into Macintosh HD, you're going to want to go into the Library. I lied. You're going to want to go into System, Library, then you're going to want to go to Core Services. Right click on that, hit Get Info. Then make sure you unclick this so that you can change things. Put in your password if you have one. And change everyone to Read and Write. It should be on Read Only, but make Read and Write. Then after you do that, hit this and then hit Apply to Unclosed Items hit that then hit OK and it'll do this might take a bit it's hard to say how long this will take okay but anyways after this is done you go into the core services app well folder I mean and find login window hit show packets contents contents resources and go into your language which in my case is English then you're going to want to see this about this Mac string. Open this with Text Wrangler. See, here's why you need Text Wrangler. It has different programming so that you can see it in a different view. This is what it looks like in Text Wrangler. Now I'll compare this to Text Edit. Text Edit right here. And as you can see, ah, it doesn't even work. It, it did work earlier, but it was in like a messed up format. Everything was clumped up together. But to change, Let's open up this. To change your processor, you're going to want to go in here and look for look for exactly this. A, about box single processor field format. Then you're going to want to change what's in here. It should look like this. It should look like a, a percent sign, an at sign, and whatever. Just change all that to this exact or whatever you want to change it to. But now if you want to change your memory, which is right there, all you have to do is go to about box memory field format and change that to whatever you want in here as well. Now, if you want to change the more info tab to make it seem even more convincing, like if they say click on that to make sure, what you want to do after that is close out of that and back out of here and then go into Here's what you're going to want to do. Go to System Profiler, which I currently forget where that is, but give me 10 seconds and I'll remember that. Okay, actually, I'm pretty sure you just go into your applications. System Profiler. It's just... It's... Wait. Uh... It's no system information. I'll scroll down to the S's really fast. And here it is. Just right click and hit show package contents, contents, resources. Then you're going to want to go into your language once more, which mine in this case is still English. Then you're going to want to go to spinfo.strings. Open with text wrangler as well. And now 
each of these tabs right here, overview, display, storage, memory, they're each in here, but if, if you can see, they're, they're clearly marked with overview, which is right here, which what you want to do is, if you want to change your processor, you, you probably want to make it match up with the about this Mac thing right here, and keep this first little segment it has in front of here. Otherwise, if you take get rid of that, it'll, it won't it'll say processor right here, which you really want it to say processor, otherwise it'll look fake. So keep that and then space and then get rid of everything and replace with it with what you want. It has a bunch more of thing, things that look like these except it has like a 2 and then a 3. Just remove that and after everything after that just type it in here. Then right here under Mac memory text you're going to want to do the same exact thing. Leave the very first segment of random coding letters here and put, a, put one, two spaces and I forgot to save it for that one, put two spaces and put in what you want here. Then as well for your graphics, which is right here, you're going to want to do the exact same thing right about here. This is the graphics tab. Then that's basically all I wanted to change here, but then you can change your displays if you go into your displays panel. You can just go in here and I'm I haven't really figured this one out yet because I haven't really messed around with it, but if you just take the same basic thought of how you did up here down to here. But uh, thanks for watching, that's all you have to do. And then you just save it, close out, and it is changed. Thanks you for watching. Goodbye.